Hello friends, welcome back to Auto Tutorial video. Uh, we were uh, discussing about relation between models in last, uh, last two videos. We have already covered many to one fields and one to many fields. The next one is uh, many to many fields. Okay, so uh, it's a bidirectional multiple relationship. Uh, any record from one side and uh, can be related to any number of records from other side. Okay, uh, it's a uh, just another uh, type of container uh, of records and uh, let's get into uh, how we can add such a uh, field in our uh, model okay so uh, we, under our sessions uh, what we are going to do is we are going to add attendees list under our session okay so we will have uh, more than many attendees uh, under a session so uh, what we are doing is attendee ids fields dot many to many and we are providing a restored partner uh, this is our, uh, another record that we are used for the uh, response sorry uh, the instructor yeah you may remember that yes okay the, yes instructor restored partner the same uh, record that we are referring to so uh, it's a uh, restored partner record and we are putting many to many field for this and uh, uh, it's simple like that and uh, uh, there are some uh, more advanced uh, methods like uh, You can see I'll show you for example Sorry, we are looking at the... Okay, so... Um, we'll take... Uh, yes, employee, okay? Here... Uh, here you can see uh, there is employee IDs. So uh, we have employee category and the employee ids this many to many field have more attributes than uh, what we just created so uh, this employee category is connecting with the employee hr employees uh, because uh, in this uh, under this category there will be uh, many employees okay that's why uh, this uh, many to many is uh, coming into the picture so uh, we are connecting into uh, hr employee model and uh, uh, there is another attribute so employee uh, underscore category relation okay rel uh, means for relation and uh, they are supplying category id and the employee id so uh, i will explain uh, after uh, we discuss about our current feature uh, what is this thing okay so so uh, currently how we have attendees uh, attendee ids uh, fields dot many to many restored partner string attendees and in our view file under the course 
model form view i am putting just uh, it's a uh, new concept uh, for you label for attendee ids so uh, it's uh, uh, if we are not putting uh, this field inside any group it will not be uh, the label will not be visible okay so uh, to make that uh, visible we have to apply this uh, we have to use this tag label for uh, attendee ids so uh, it will take uh, it will show the attendee ids uh, label uh, if you want to uh, give a separate name for attendee ids you can use this same attribute sorry the same tag okay let's check uh, our user interface we are going we are restarting because we added a new feed into the model so we are restarting the service and going back to the apps upgrading our app Let's go back to Open Academy Sessions Session 1 You see attendees Okay So uh, you can add attendees here As in this one Okay You can add multiple So you can add multiple uh, attendees using this method. So uh, how this differs from the uh, one to many field that's we are going to look now uh, and I show you uh, the HR category example. Uh, it's a PG admin. Uh, it's a Postgres uh, database admin application administration application. So um, uh, if you don't know about this uh, application, please let us know uh, in the comment section. Uh, we will uh, prepare a video for you okay so uh, I'm just refreshing it and uh, yes open Academy did you see a new item uh, this is oh, we haven't created this uh, mo model right we only have the open Academy course and open Academy session but uh, this one we haven't created but how do created it automatically let's check what is this what uh, what this thing contains you see open academy session id the stored partner id there are two only two columns let's check what's the data we have The open academy session id 1 1 the stored partner id integer 1430 so uh, i hope you may get some uh, some idea okay so uh, i just show you uh, employee category there is a employee category relation so uh, what they are supplying uh, we haven't supplied these attributes these three attributes in our uh, field uh, but uh, uh, in this example you have three more attributes so what they are when they were doing is they are supplying uh, the table name that they want to create uh, by Odoo and uh, the columns that they should uh, Odoo should select okay so uh, in our case, uh, Odoo did that uh, automatically based on uh, their uh, controls and conditions. So uh, in this uh, method, uh, we are supplying, we are manually supplying uh, what uh, should be the name and what are the columns that uh, 
uh, should be connected okay here uh, in this example uh, in our case uh, the open academy session underscore restored partner relation this is our the newly created table name and uh, sorry the open academy session id is taken and the restored partner id is taken so uh, for the session that have the id number one uh, under that uh, item we have restored partner 14 and uh, if we create we can add the same people in our next session also You see, uh, we have same pupil under these two sessions. And let's check. You see, uh, same. Okay, uh, the ID of Open Academy session is two, and the, the stored partner ID is two. So uh, to manage this uh, relation, Odoo is automatically creating a relation table and. Uh, uh, storing the ID of uh, the two sides table okay the uh, the one uh, in the right side and one in the left side okay so uh, storing these IDs and related uh, restored partner if we have uh, three then there will be three lines for uh, open uh, the, that session okay so uh, this way how to can manage uh, this relation so uh, what is the difference between one to many and many to many uh, it can have uh, what we say uh, it can have any number of records related to another side okay we can have multiple uh, number of records related to uh, multiple of uh, another record from uh, another model so uh, this is how uh, many to many fields works and it can be used in many ways like uh, tags you see under the uh, product we can uh, we can use tags like uh, is it a service or any other uh, functional technical uh, and uh, it's expert. many tags we can use and for the customers we can use uh, the wholesale customer retail customer uh, and uh, uh, frequent customer many 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 tags we can use in that uh, cases also in that for that concepts also we can use the uh, many to many uh, fields uh, i hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you didn't subscribe yet you can uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, you will get notified about uh, new videos thanks for watching if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.